of the things that I'm excited about is having the participants um, be in conversation with uh, members of different congregations, leaders throughout our community, um, to talk with them about life experiences, whether it's um, leadership strategies or personality types or social justice issues, um, just sharing some of the experiences that they've had um, in their life that might give the participants a um, heads up. We want people from the community to come in and be the ones that share about these things. But we also want to invite the young adults themselves, if they have experience in these things, to share them as well. The folk school sessions are a place for um, relational learning that invites people to become teachers and learners together in, a, in an open space that invites people in to learn for learning's sake. I guess what I'm really excited about is the discussions and really that's one way that I really grow is by talking to other people and by getting other people's opinions and I kind of like place it together to make my own opinion. In the reflection sessions you're going to be you know, reading texts and watching films, but you're also going to be hearing these stories and connecting with these voices from history and from tradition that really can encourage us and inspire us. One of the folk school sessions is, in, is called an open door session where the young adult participants in this ministry are invited to teach and share on a subject that they're passionate about and interested in. But we also want to invite the young adults themselves, if they have experience in these things, to share them as well. So maybe a young adult has experience doing guerrilla gardening in an urban area and they want to share what that means to them and why they're passionate about it. There's always an opportunity to do that. We come out here, we do this, we're using something that was wasted before and uh, you know, help to benefit the neighborhood as a whole. 